but welcome to Ducket Calligraphy where I've not got chestnut on my lap but this beautiful little Vulkenstein pipe organ, it's a portative organ and I suppose you might have seen something like this before in a stained glass window held by someone like Saint Cecilia. Um, this is really the beginning of pipe organs. Uh, so you have a little keyboard here, some metal pipes, a bellow at the back that you'll see me raising and then lowering and as you lower it, as you put your hand on the bellows, that's what gives you the air pressure to go into the little soundboard and then for the air to rise up through each pipe that I choose using the key and that's what creates the sound. It's absolutely beautiful, um, the lovely little case with the uh, gothic arch windows and the, the castellated top there and little parchment tuner slides and it isn't in tune but I will get it into tune. I have been playing this for about an hour so I'm not very good but just so that you have an idea of what it sounds like here, here's what it what it plays like you an idea of what it sounds like and you can see the bellows. What I love about it is it's a bit like talking or singing, especially singing, that you fill your lungs up with air by raising the bellows and then as you play the air diminishes to the point that you've got to take a breath again and you're really aware of that with this instrument that it's actually a, an instrument that breathes. You've got these little rods, these little dowels I suppose and you can fit those onto anywhere or any key on the organ uh, so that's on the D now so I can use that as a as a drone and play something um, if I want a, another dial to go on the A for example I can have a, a sort of a fifth um, a drone in fifths Lots of dynamic qualities available, mainly by the amount that you press down on these bellows at the back. And that seems to me the most difficult part at the moment. Um, in one way, it's really redeeming as an organist, just having one line of uh, music to play with your right hand. Like, oh, why didn't I find this earlier? Rather than right hand, left hand and pedals. But the difficult part is the left hand and getting the dynamism right. So it's going to take ages, but exciting too. Thanks for watching.